What's going on, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with more tech and more reviews. And if you notice, I got my MacBook here. This is my brand new one with the uh, M1 chip, and I have not added any type of stand or any cover skin or anything to this. It's bare right now. And you know, on my old MacBook Pro, I actually had one of these moth stands, and it's probably one of the best, most convenient things that I've ever had uh, to go with a computer. And today, this is what we're gonna be talking about because I'm gonna be adding a new one, but they've now added different colors and different styles and different patterns to their lineup. So this is one of their newer models. This is a black one, has a pattern to it. This is what we're gonna be talking about today. So let's go ahead and get it open. Let's get it on and let's check it out. So I love these stands. They are extremely affordable, number one. They are extremely convenient and they are nice and minimalistic. So first off, we gotta get this thing open. There's always a tab right on the back that I can never open up all the way the first time. Okay, forget it. At this point, we're going in. And I tore off part of the little welcome wagon. This is what you get. So all this over here is now trash at this point. This is what we are looking for. This is the stand itself. Now, take a look at that. This is what I'm gonna be installing on the back of my MacBook Pro. It's only adhesive. You're just gonna tear the little piece off and uh, you get your stand back here. Nice, smooth material on the back. Has a couple of standing angles. We'll get into that once we get it on. But right now I'm gonna show you how to actually install and put this bad boy on your computer. So there you go. It's really just simple and easy. Two steps. Um, you're gonna wipe the back down. You don't have to spray anything on it. Just wipe it down with a terry cloth. Make sure there's no dust, nothing in between the adhesive layer and the actual device itself. And then you just peel that plastic off and you're gonna just lay it down. Now I lay it as close to the black strip as possible. And once you get it there, you hold it down for about 30 seconds or so. I normally hold it down in the corners as well, and then I've already held it down in the middle. We're good to go. Now let's talk about some of these standing angles because I think you're gonna like this whole setup right here. So as far as your standing angles go, you're gonna get a low standing angle that's gonna be at about 15 degrees. And as you can see, this is how it's gonna look. Very comfortable when you're typing. No issues in that arena. And then the next standing angle is gonna be about a 25 degree. And this one is gonna be more suitable for your entertainment so you don't have to hunch over and uh, get a crook in your neck, but basically it's gonna make the screen eye level and it's gonna help you out in that aspect as well. Both standing angles work really well. And as I said before, I've used this with my older MacBook Pro and I had no issues. So that's why I was really excited when I saw the different colors and I'm gonna drop a link below so you can check these different colors out for yourself. Uh, they have tons of different new ones now. And like I said, they're gonna run you about 25 bucks. So hopefully you will be able to pick up one of these and check it out for yourself. So that's been it guys. This is the Moft stand. I picked up the black with this pattern on it. I really like it. Uh, this is probably, like I said, most minimalistic, most convenient, and probably one of the easiest stands to use. And it's super thin. Like, look at that. Like you, you wouldn't, like if you didn't know it was already there, you would probably say there was nothing on the bottom of my MacBook. Very thin, super light, super portable. I give this a big thumbs up. Well, hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me that big thumbs up. Average Tech Guy out, peace.